Hello, my name is Strat, and today I'm going to teach you how you can set up the velocity meter on um, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, uh, World at War, and also Modern Warfare 2. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, you get a, a number which displays your speed, and then you also get this little graph that will also display your So in order to set this up, firstly you're going to need live split so you want to go ahead and download that if you don't already have it uh, next you want to go to my github and download um, this uh, repository so if you go ahead and download that zip once you've done that then you can extract the um, contents Then you're going to take the live split memory graph DLL. You're going to go to your live split um, folder. Then you go to components, and then you're going to copy that over. I've uh, already done that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, after that, then if you just want to display the velocity, then all you have to do is just um, double click one of these and then run the game and then you're good to go so if we just give you a quick example um, yeah so this is what it looks like you can see that I'm moving forward at 190 and then do any strafing then obviously get a lot more speed and then it just sort of displays that graph Okay, in order to display this in OBS without the blue background, we can go to Add Source, add a window capture, name that whatever you want. Um, click OK to that. Okay, so resize that to whatever you want. Um, go to Filters, add a filter, we're going to add a chroma key. Um, then let's go with these settings. So we want blue. Uh, actually, let's go with custom. Select color. Uh, it's a solid blue, so 255. Uh, that's completely vanished. So let's do one. Uh, what did I set this to? I think I set it to 18. Oh, and then set that one to a thousand and then I set this one to 70 just to make it just a little bit transparent but obviously you can fiddle about with those settings and personalize it to your own taste and need and whatever um, but that works for me uh, and then yeah just move that well oh, not that <laughs> move this to wherever you want it and resize it uh, you can also change all the colors, but I'm just going to leave that up to you, how you personalize it. So if you're using Live Split already for timing uh, for your splits or whatever else you might use it for, um, instead of just opening one of these files, what we can do instead is we can actually import the um, velocity meter and add it to this um, Live Split layout. So if you right click go to edit layout let's get rid of that for a second you're going to click add click information go to memory graph and then you see it's just added that velocity meter now we're going to have to personalize the the settings because at the moment it doesn't look particularly good um oh yeah also just one more thing if you want live split to be on top then you want to click that box uh, but if you want it to be hidden underneath windows then just uncheck that uh, that box and then click, hit OK uh, so if we go to memory graph okay so if you're going to import uh, the memory graph manually then you're going to want to go ahead and copy these settings um, so we've got that base value we'll go into there that is the value 
Um, that is the velocity value in the game. That is different for each game. Then we've got the name of the processor, and then of course that changes depending on what game you're playing. Um, I like to go with the field graph. Um, minimum value, I'll go with 180. Um, obviously the, the base walking speed is 190, but I just go with 180. Maximum value, go with 500. Let's go with 70 height. Uh, again, I'm just copying these values over. We'll go with a local max. And then we'll go with center in graph. Uh, descriptive text, you can put here units per second or whatever you want. Um, this is just like the, the actual speed itself. Um, but I just like to leave that blank personally. Um, in terms of all of these settings, you can very much customize all of this to how you like. The only two values that you really need to put in are the name of the processor and the base. Those need to be correct and then everything else you can personalize it to however you want it to be. Uh, once you've done that, hit OK, hit OK and then you should be good to go. So you see we've got it working there. Excellent. Okay, so once you've done all that, then make sure you save the layout as and make sure you have that backed up wherever you will use it. Okay, so if you want to set it up for all of the games, um, then the easiest way is simply to run your, your splits um, and then open a new live split window at the same time and then just run one of these layouts. Um, then you can just have both running at the same time. Okay, if you want a more elegant solution, then instead we can do it in one window. Um, so if we add the memory graph in, go to edit uh, settings, uh, layout settings, go to memory graph, then for each game, then we can paste, uh, we can copy and paste the process and the base value. So for plutonium, this is the process name, and then this is the base name. So if we copy and paste that over, click OK, click OK, then it didn't work. Why didn't it work? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. Uh, but click save as exit that and then let's open it again okay so there we go um, it looks like I just had to save the layout and then restart the game um, but yeah so that's the process basically you go to edit layout go to the memory graph go to uh, this document, copy and paste each processor across, and then boom, you're good to go. Alright then guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see ya!